got about 10 to 11 ohms on a 1500 watt electric water heater element. This fits in a unit to say from 6 to maybe 20 gallons on 120 volts. And there's one I've just measured with about 10 to 11 ohms. And of course these are the dead ones. Read wide open so they're broken. And that's the purpose of the video, just to show you what the resistance is. In case you just want to check one out, just take a simple ohmmeter. Should be roughly in that range. 10, 11, 12 ohms, say. If it's still hot, it'll read higher a little bit. I've gotten on these things anywhere from 3 to 10 years use. And I don't know if sometimes the water gets low and it boils out. This is the original one that came with a unit back in 2005. Lasted a few years. Put this one in. I think I got this at Home Depot or Lowe's. Lasted for a few years. And I just put one other one in the other day. And this is a spare I'd found I'd misplaced. Of course this is the hex wrench you can get to get in here and grab the hex, if I unscrew this, fits over it, and you just put a screwdriver in there. When you tighten it, you need to just kind of clean the flange and make it fairly snug. You don't have to go crazy on it. You can see how corroded this one is. This particular unit's the one I did another video. I had a bunch of crap inside, and I've drained it a bunch of times. Might just be it's a cheap hot water heater, or it's just the water here is fairly poor. So anywhere between say 8 to 12 ohms, probably okay. That's a screw in water heater element. These are very, very common in the USA. 1500 watts, 120 volts. I think they use the same element on all different types of units in the sense they use the same element from a six gallon. The one I've got in the back is a 12 gallon. I've got another one in a different place is 20 gallon. They all use the same element. Same threads, same voltage. That's about it. This is just a simple ohm meter. Measure the resistance. Actually you can measure directly in the package punching through